Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the team of the season, Martin Odegaard to check out. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. We're taking a look at someone who is five foot ten, high medium work rates, left footed, five star skill moves with a three star weak foot. So pretty much the same as the player of the month card, right? It has the skill moves, doesn't have the weak foot uh, at a four star player traits. He has solid player flair, playmaker, outside foot shot and technical dribbler in game attributes. This card needs to be formatted on a Hunter chemistry style. I'm gonna be very important for him because obviously with pace being a very relevant thing to work with, as well as the shooting capabilities, you do need to give him that Hunter to boost the pace to be at a 99 for acceleration, 97 for sprint speed. Shooting is gonna be pretty much close to the mid 90s area, right? 95 for finishing, 92 for shot power, obviously gonna be very important to work with. Uh, passing on the card. I'm going to be in a great area, right? 90s is definitely a huge W to work with, depending on uh, where you end up playing him, which I think most people will probably play him for the meta of the game, either in these three ways, right? So one is going to be over on that left-hand side. So if you're playing left attacking mid, uh, left wing in a 3-4-2-1, that's going to be one way. Another way is potentially as your attacking oriented center mid, because this card actually has defensive stats at a 79 for interceptions all that kind of stuff so having some defensive stats while you know technically sure you could give him a shadow chemistry so i don't think people would do that for the most part but that's how you would use them in the other way and then obviously the other way is going to be uh the cam position as well but the cam position i'd put last on the list um i know that he plays that in real life but it's because of the way that the dribbling usually works on odegaard from like his previous versions um when it comes to the card in general at this point in the game right the, during that time period with the player of the month could be a little bit different but at this point it's a little bit different now too right so dribbling all the 90s area except for reactions at an 80 and then an 85 for composure right so usually it's that general area that makes him dribble a certain way right so we're going to see what that's going to be like uh again defensive stats he actually has a few and then for physical capabilities uh, the card has a 90 for stamina to allow you to pretty much use him as any of the attacking oriented players. So, yeah, we'll be using him mainly in the striker position, cam, left attacking mid, that kind of thing. And we'll be seeing what the card's like, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, man. I thought he was going to maybe like foul me there, to be honest, because uh, you never know what those. Actually got a defensive play there. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I should have gone across goal there. Okay. We'll take that finesse shot. Ah, off target on the green. No. What happens when you hit those like middle finesse shots? It's always like that. Light time shot on the Elastico. The Elastico wasn't like too fast with it. It was like, okay, really. Always trying to do some skill zings. Oh, couldn't get the green time. Well, I did get the green time, just not the goal on it. Nice. Oh, going to be too low anyways. Green time on that, can score. <laughs> I just, it's uh, the crossbar and me. We are friends forever. Oh, 
Oh, I get the jam, but the ball gets left behind. Up shot. I have to put power behind that one? Oh, man. Trying some skill moves out there. Oh, he actually scored that. Sounds good. So you can see on a consistent level that his shooting animation is on the slower side, right? So you really do have to. Um, time your strikes accordingly because he takes a while to get into the strike you know like i've been reading a lot uh because or i've been hitting the reds a lot because uh, of that animation choice of his that was so random but whatever works man yeah, like, I'll show you. Like, now that I know, it's so much slower, right? It's like... It's hard. It's it's hard to judge it with him. I don't know what happened there, but sure. I'll take it. Never gonna win the header over Bale there. No chance. No chance. It's a good run. It's a good run. That one I got to, but it was more direct. Once you get the timing down, you get used to it a little bit more, you know? Am I going near post there? Should I be going far? I don't know, actually. I had the run there with Odegaard, too. I probably could have done like a driven past him or something. See what I'm saying? Like, just it's randomness sometimes. We score that one. We score the randomness afterwards. <laughs> I wanted to take a touch, go back a little bit. You can even see my controller, what I wanted to do there. It didn't come off, though. Sure. Sounds good. We've got we've gotten a few random moments with him so far. We've gotten a few. I should have done uh, some step overs there. I almost wanted to throw up saying that, but I should have. There it is. Get him on his left foot, my boy. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Martin Odegaard. Oh, great vision. Oh, the first time chip shots, they're just not good. They're not like you'll do that pass, but you you have to. I don't even know what you have to do, honestly. Cause the chips ain't it. Maybe you get it. Maybe you shoot the ball right away. You know, I don't even know, dude. Oh, 
Salah. Excellent ball over the top. Just do a header, bro. I'm telling you, just do one. Sometimes you get lucky. Attacker advantage. And we're into the final half hour. Very quick thinking there. He continues his run. He'll try his luck here. Yeah, it's, it, it, those shots, when it's raising from the floor, like, they ain't gonna go in. I'll tell you that much. It's either the directs, the directs go in, right? Or the loops. It's got to be the loops as well. But those ones, I don't, I don't really often see those ones going in. It's almost like, here's the save. Oh, you guys just wait, bro, when I get my Palinga. You wait, bro. You wait when I get my Palinga. Just you wait when I get my Palinga, bro. Just you wait. His left stick, it has like that thing to it, man. Like at this point in the game, it does. Like, it, it's a little bit annoying to work with. A little bit. Oh, I couldn't get the pass off to Salah. Nice finesse shot. There we go, the guard. There we go. Like I said, you just got to get used to the uh, animation choices for the strikes, you know? Nice. Something just randomly popped up on my other screen. I was like, what? <laughs> nice chip shot. Never know, never know. A raising shot that worked. Bro, I I'm telling <laughs> I'm telling you guys, man. It's like the it's like the pack videos. I speak things into existence. Oh, he switched to his right foot. I kind of wanted him to lace it with his left. Oh, yeah. Don't expect those to work. Got a green in for the right side there. Got to hit the green. I hit the crossbar all the time. I just hit the crossbar all the time. Oh, dude, I, I, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying on my boy Palinga, bro. I'm just saying. Look at this guy, bro. I'm just, wa watch me on that team of the season, bro. I got used to it, man. I got used to it. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the team of the season, Martin Odegaard. So, guys... In regards to how this card performs in game, the Hunter chemistry style is definitely going to make the most sense, right? You want to boost the pace, you want to boost the shooting as much as possible, uh, because the other areas of the card, you're just going to have to work with as it is, okay? 
Pace is very, very important in this game. Very, very important. People are our trigger merchants like crazy, okay? So I have to always mention that. Now, generally speaking with Odegaard, a few things that you notice with him, right? So when it comes to his left stick capabilities, right? The left stick stuff, you sometimes notice it being off, especially when under pressure. And I feel like maybe it's the 80 for reactions, 85 for composure that may cause that. I feel like as a team of the season version of Odegaard, um, considering the fact that he's had a very good season, I feel like they could have improved that part of the card a little bit more, right? So that he feels um, more responsive in game, regardless of the fact that he has the lean body type. Like I said, I feel like maybe it's the composure and the reactions that kind of throws him off a little bit from consistency, right? Uh, the card actually from time to time was able to defend for me. Even if I didn't play him in defensive oriented positions, he still did uh, defensive stuff for me because he has a 79 for interceptions. Like that part of the card was actually pretty noticeable, especially if I'm lined up in a way where it's like a 4-4-2 and I'm playing him in the left side and then I have him on the comeback and defense, it works out perfectly fine. Um, obviously with the strikes, just like most of the strikes in this game, regardless of the shooting stats you have, you have to try to green time your strikes as much as possible. When I did get the left-footed strikes with the card on a green, to be fair, he actually hit the strikes pretty nicely, right? The power strikes, the finesse strikes came off really nicely uh, for the most part. But it's one of those types of cards where it does feel like they could have done a better job with it, right? I feel like base card stats for dribbling could have been improved. And I feel like a weak foot definitely would have been a really cool thing as well. Because I feel like when you're up against a card like this, right? You kind of have to make him similar to, I guess, how like a flashback Isco would feel from back in the day, right? You guys know I was crazy about that flashback Isco card. So I feel like for a team of the season version of Odegaard, uh, they definitely could have improved that part of the card. So that's where I feel like the dislikes are definitely warranted for sure, because I feel like they could have made him a little bit better, especially after trying out the Bokayo Saka uh, card, because that card is very, very nice on a basic chemistry style. He doesn't have five-star skill moves, but I'd rather much use that card over this Odegaard. And obviously the price difference is absolutely massive. It's like a 600K difference, but I just like what they do with Sokka. Like with Sokka, they did a pretty solid job, which you guys will be seeing in the review. So um, yeah, the card's still pretty good. Obviously, if you're decent enough at FIFA and you're using him in the top divisions, you can make him work just as long as you use him in these specific ways that I mentioned, right? So attacking oriented center mid in a 4-3-2-1, 3-4-2-1 playing as like a left forward or something, Thing, even in a 4 3 2 1. Um, and then obviously, you can use them in the cam position as well. Just have to be mindful of the left stick sometimes. Okay. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.